वेलकम बैक टू योर स्टूडेंट्स स्टार्ट विद टू डे माई सेल्फ अभिलाषा एंड स्टार्ट विद टू डेज टॉपिक विच इज अ बार बॉडी सो सेवरल साइकोलॉजिकल स्टडीज हैव आइडेंटिफाई ह्यूमन विद मोर देन टू क्रोमोजोम इन फीमेल एज यू कैन सी देर इज अ टू एक्स क्रोमोजोम वेल इन मेल दे हैव ओनली वन एक्स क्रोमोजोम बट फॉर द मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ दीज पीपल आर फ्यूनोटिपिकली नॉर्मल फीमेल अपेरेंटली बिकॉज ऑल बट one of their x chromosome is inactivated as you can see there is a 2x chromosome and one x chromosome is inactivated and this inactivated um uh, often all the inactivate excess coded into a single bar body these observations suggested that the cell may have a limited amount of some factor needed to prevent x inactivation so once this factor has been used to keep one x chromosome active all the other quietly to inactive process as you can see in this um, diagram the female x x chromosome this is bar body which is inactivated x and only one x chromosome in present in active form or in chromosome in male they have only one x chromosome so they are in active form in ear in certain cell type the inactive x chromosome in female can be observed microscopically and as a densely staining body nucleus in the of the interphase this is known as bar body and uh, why it's called bar body as the name for its discoverer murray bar so female have two x chromosome the somatic cells of female are not involved in sexual reproduction so here one of the two chromosome is an inactivated by lysozygous as uh, this inactive x chromosome is known as bar body and the process of in x inactivation was first discovered by mary f leon and it's she was a genetics one x chromosome is inactivated so that unnecessarily information is not passed through the next generation the amount of expression of x chromosome gene should be equal in both male as well as in females so the activation active x chromosome in enclosed within a u chromatin whereas the inactive x chromosome in enclosed within a heterochromatin region the inactive x chromosome is compact and it is not accessible to the molecule involved in the transcription and the x chromosome is compacted to create a small dense structure and how these bar bodies are formed as you can see in this diagram there are some genes or specific transcripts which is um, process this uh, um, formation of the bar bodies as in x chromosome have a sx inactivation center which contain gene called x inactive specific transcripts and there is a, another gene which is known as t6 so what is function it's reverse the these exit gene so exit is responsible for the inactivation of x chromosome whereas t prevent it x inactivation is random process it's a, that occurring during the embryo development as you can easily see in this diagram this is zygote which contain x chromosome from mother and y chromosome from father and early division it contain xy two zyg uh, two zygotes are then divided into early cell division this is male this is female which contain double two x and this contains single x so chromosome inactivation which is very random process in early de embryo development so male contain single x and y while the female contain functional x single functional x and one is inactivated x which is known as bar body so what is leon's hypothesis and states the following postulates the process of inactivation was first discovered by mary f leon and in the female mammals one of the two x chromosome as somatic cell is inactive the inactivation of x chromosome is very random in embryo as in previous diagram i have shown the inactivation occurred during development so the inactive x chromosome remain inactivated in all generation of cells so in best example of this is 
calico cat so what experiment she done as you can see their female have two x chromosome this is one this is contain allele for orange color and this chromosome contain allele for black color as you can see in this schematic diagram this black allele for black color and this is for orange color so after random cell division the active x chromosome contain this orange part color part and there they inactivate or this is called power party for this inactive x chromosome or they suppress this black color so you can see orange color developed in second chromosome you can see there is inactive x chromosome and they express the active x chromosome which is responsible for black color so they represent the black color when chromosome is inactivated in each cell which one is by chance or randomly so coats of tortoise shell cat have patched of orange and black color as you can see orange and black color patched their black color is suppressed and there is a orange color suppressed so these tortoise shell cat have a uh, mainly best example for these power bodies because they have X inactivation so sex chromosome or uh, doses compensation what is the purpose of doses compensation is equalize expression of X chromosome as a male and female in humans as uh, but mechanism of how this accomplish is different in different organism like example is the different in mammals different in drosophila different C elegans so best example of this I can explain is this given diagram as you can see there is a random inactivation of one chromosome so first example is uh, from uh, from mouse as you can see in or as well as in humans you can see they have one x x chromosome where one x chromosome is dosed and one express so or suppressed so they form x and y chromosome and in second two fold transcription of single x chromosome this is example of drosophila melanogaster where the follow the mechanism of doses composition which may increase the transcription of their single x chromosome by two fold of the match female expression of two chromosome as you can see in this diagram the y y chromosome and the transcriptionally activated this x chromosome so in this decreased transcription of both the c elegans this is example where c elegans form express both x chromosome by half of the match male bomb with only one x chromosome as you can see there's the only one x chromosome in c elegans so this is a this is the best example of these um, doses compensation and uh, which is uh, important for uh, determination of uh, sex determination in a different organism. Thank you, dear students.